All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later. We're going to go with some Rakdos aggro. So I'm kind of rebranding this one. I used to call this Rakdos Menagerie, um, but we've trimmed down on the Menageries from four to two. Um, this is the same main deck that we played the last time we played it, and I was very happy with it. So I want to want to keep this again. Um, the only thing I'm changing up is the sideboard, uh, changing that up a little bit. I'm not playing... Um, Theater of Horrors, kind of talked about this card a little bit uh, earlier with Mardu Midrange, where um, Theater of Horrors is best against Esper Control, but with the presence of Mortify, I don't love it. Um, so I'm having an extra Angrath in. Before I had one Angrath, I have two. And then the other, the new sideboard card, which it's it's not not highlighting right here, is Demanding Dragon. Um... I have Demanding Dragon as my anti-red card, even though it's a five-mana card, because the, the red matchup is going to be a race, and I just want this big haymaker that if they don't have a creature to sacrifice, it deals them five immediately, and it's still a 5-5. Five, five. I like that it doesn't get Lava Coiled um, like Rekindling Phoenix does. It blocks Chain Whirler uh, like Rekindling Phoenix doesn't block Chain Whirler too well. Um, so we'll kind of see, and then maybe there's just other, you know, there may be other matchups that uh, have like a lot of small removal, like removal for like all these small creatures, and won't be ready for demanding dragon um, out of the sideboard. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got there. Also have direfully daredevil for the red matchup as well, and there we go. So um, this is 61 in the main deck. Oh, I guess I, I accidentally hit this Blight Keeper over here. So. Oh, you think I should play Chromatic Lantern in the four-color discard deck? Could maybe fit one Chromatic Lantern in there. Yeah, we could maybe fit a, a Chromatic Lantern in there. Take it to ranked. Um... We could do that. I'll just play the event. I like I like this format. Thanks, Wendy. Rakdos aggro. You know, ranked you just have no entry fee, don't get to win anything. I like this format of having an entry fee and winning stuff. Um, yeah, I like I like Firebrand more than Footlight Fiend. Um, I know that was a change we made the last time also. Um, Footlight Fiend is better with Priest. Footlight Fiend is definitely better with, with Priest of the Forgotten Gods. But when you don't have Priest of the Forgotten Gods, um, Firebrand's going to be better. Um, it's better at just like being able to sacrifice it on its own. And, you know, you can trigger Judith, you know, get like the two triggers of Judith and everything like that. So even though it's a, a worse card synergy-wise with Priest of Forgotten Gods, I like playing the stronger card by itself. Cool. Van says that Firebrand was the thing that tilted the games against Mono Blue to their advantage. And yeah, I could certainly see that. Like, um, it's going to be really good in that matchup. So we're playing against Merfolk again. Kind of surprise here. Merfolk back to back. We just finished with Merfolk uh, with the four color discard. All right, let's continue this. It's a really good hand for them. I don't know if their hand gets any better.
Just trade with both. Just only do one trade. I'm certainly trading with elite. Wait. Yeah, let's double block here, do the two damage to the Lord, and kill all three. Yeah. So really glad our opponent attacked like that. That made our made our life a little easier. Especially with having gruesome menagerie in hand, we don't really mind the um, the creatures being dead. All right, so do I want to play another Reaper and Priest or Menagerie back Judith and Priest? Um, I kind of want a menagerie back these two. I think having Judith on the battlefield is really nice. <laughs> this game gives streamers better draws. <laughs> I don't think that that's the case. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. I don't want to block. Okay. Trickster. That's annoying. Unfortunately, can't quite kill Kumena. We'll target them. I get three Judith triggers. Yeah, I, I'm glad our opponent did not buff the team with the five Merfolk last, last turn. I, th we'll see if we can. Uh, I say we'll see if we can kill the, Kumena. Please don't have another one mana. Merfolk, okay. All right, yeah, we should we should just be able to wipe their board. We'll see if they're see what's the best way to do this. So I I firebrand to kill trickster. I play Judith to kill speaker. Um. I sack war boss and token kills silver gold adept. And and then they sack Kumena, so they sack their whole board, but gets rid of all my stuff besides Judith and priest. Do I need to do all of that? 
think so. I guess I could just sack the other Judith. I just go to combat, sack the other Judith. And I don't have to sack Warboss then. I could play the new Judith. Should have thought about that a little more. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it doesn't trigger on tokens. Yeah, that's right. So actually, yeah, this is going to work perfectly. But I'm not keeping more boss. All right, we get to attack. Then tapping, tapping the team. Uh, target that thing. <clears throat> Make them sacrifice Kumena. Oh, we get a Midnight Reaper. That card's good. All right, good job, Judith Priest. Judith Priest is such a good combo. All right, what do we want to do against the, the Merfolk player? <laughs> there you go, Jelly. Yep, that's a good time for the GG emote. That was a good game. Um, do we even want to do anything? Maybe just keep this the same. Honestly, I could bring in some lava coils. Um, don't really know what I would take out. I like spawn as like the flyer. Could maybe trim Remodi Reveler or Gutter Bones. Now, Gutter Bones great with Priest though. Kind of want to just keep this the same. Probably should have some lava coils though. If my opponent doesn't make that really bad attack, we're not winning whatsoever. No, honestly, walk the plank's not that bad. The the main Merfolk creatures that you have to worry about are uh, Merfolk Branchwalker and Jade Light Ranger. Right, I'm gonna bring in one coil over a Midnight Reaper and one coil over a Remodi Reveler. Um. And go with this. Take out an instigator for another coil. Yeah. All right. Uh, Harold. Yeah, Miscloak Harold and Merfolk Trickster. Yeah, those are. Yeah, those are a couple good Merfolks. I see a lot of play. That's a good point. I don't think I really want to bring in the Planeswalker. I think that kind of costs a lot of mana. I want I want to not... You know, like, if we're losing, Angrath's not going to be too good. Um, if they have, like, a better battlefield position than us. Um, so I, I don't want to, to bring it in here, especially with us being on the draw. That's a good hand. Hope to draw a Judith. Hey, what's up, Judith? All right, now we need to draw another land. So I'm gonna play. Yeah, we need need another land now. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Don't kill my priest. So next turn we go instigator. Sack the instigator and the token, add three mana, then play Judith. We could also add three mana, then play War Boss and wait for Judith the next turn. No, we, we probably just get Judith out right away. All right, 
right, so instigator. Sack these. If I play War Boss, I get to start. Um, they just like make a token, you know, start getting like other tokens out. Nah, I mean, it's just Judith. The answer's Judith. The answer's always Judith. Because with Judith in play, playing Instigator and sacking both of those next turn gives us one trigger. Playing Firebrand gives us another two triggers. So we have like. We have like three Judith triggers next turn to mow down other creatures and make them sacrifice another one. Um, yeah. Thanks, it, Carter. All right, and since our opponent only has the one creature. Uh, to protect, we get to just play the instigator. We don't have to play the firebrand, so we get to play the, the war boss here. So we target the silver gill, kill that, they sacrifice. We add our two black mana in and war boss. And our deck is great. Man, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. What a card. What a card. Yeah, this game's this game's pretty over. Trickster. My phone calls. Hmm. All right, you got me. Stop. You. And attack. Mm -hmm. Um, well, this deck could be cheap. I'm not sure. Hey, Zerf. Having a, having a good time? We are... Rakdos aggroing, aggroing it, it up. Man, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Awesome card, awesome card. All right, Rakdos aggro with the win. Going up to 1-0. Oh. I'm feeling good about this deck. I'm feeling good. I think we're going to get above the, the two-win plateau for the first time today. It is a lot of rares. Yeah, our, de our deck does have a lot of rares. Hey, J. Jack Jr. I am, and uh, Jojen, I'm turning 21 again tomorrow. Yet again. Uh, I should, help remind me, I need to, um, need to reset the program here after this, after this game, or match, I mean. <laughs> Turn 21 many times. <laughs> this will be 21 for the like 12th time. Is this seriously Merfolk for the third time in a row? Seriously?
So I know Firebrand can kill this thing, but I think I want to wait with Firebrand until we have Judith in play uh, to potentially kill a Merfolk Lord. I know, I haven't played against Merfolk in like, you know, a long time, like maybe since RNA came out, but this is the third time in a row. Like, I think this is, like, I don't remember a time in the last few weeks of playing against Merfolk. But here we are. Three in a row. Uh, Goldfish just just did a Merfolk deck? Okay. So, like, they can adapt. I'll just go no blocks. Okay. I was going to say that it may be worth it to block with the gutter bones just to take up their entire turn of adapting. Um... Oh, I guess they could have the instant speed plus one plus one counter. Oh, they don't have that. I basically waited on the on fire branding the mist Merfolk Mistbinder to maybe mess up combat and maybe like surprise my opponent a little bit in combat on something. They don't have five to put counters on their things. Attack, please. Uh, they didn't attack. Yep, our Lava Coil is going to help us out here. So they get to draw a card. Um, but they're down to two Benthic Biomancers, which don't really matter. Um, and two cards in hand. Yeah, you know, I'd love to draw a Priest of the Forgotten Gods, of course. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. As we saw those previous two games. Would be very, very good for us. Uh, Coil still exiles. Yeah, we, we exiled the Kumena. So it's all good. Yeah, you get to do that either way. And exile. Hmm. Another misbinder. I can't have I don't have three triggers. Let's just block with the two tokens. Um gonna need to keep this gutter bones back now. As long as they don't draw another Kumena, we're okay. Yeah, we can we can beat all this stuff. We need from our side like 
Midnight Reaper is a pretty decent card. Oh, Deep Root Elite's a big problem. That's a pretty big problem. Is it a big problem? So I can triple block with Instigators to kill the Deep Root Elite. Or I just simply block with the Gutter Bones. Stop. Mute. Um... Going. All right, Firebrand's pretty interesting. I don't really expect my opponent to attack here. I think we get to just get the Gutter Bones back in hand for a turn, and next turn we can Gutter Bones Firebrand. Okay, so much for that. So if I block... I have to block with three creatures to kill the stupid Mistbinder. It's annoying. Then we're going down to seven. I do have to worry about my life total, though. We should be good. Yeah, Remodi's in the deck. There's three of them. Man, Judith is awesome. Judith is really good. Callie, thanks so much for subbing there with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. That brings the hype to the channel. Let's get some hype votes in the channel for our new subscriber there. That is sub number 13 on the day. Hmm. I guess I'm not going to kill the speaker. And that brings us down to 84. Found Kumena, the card I did not really want them to find. I just killed the trickster there so they don't get to um Perfect. 
so they don't get to draw a card. Yeah, finally we got the Priest of the Forgotten Gods. 20 cards in. That's our, our best draw. Magnamaniac. Yeah, new glasses. Yep, got some new glasses. Help out my eye strain a little bit. I'm just, you know, looking at the computers a bunch. Sub number 14 on the day. Thanks for resubbing there for the third month. Uh, we also got a bunch of brand new emotes. If you haven't seen those, check those out. Um, just activate this right now. Sack these two. All right, so yeah, we'd sack Gutter Bones Instigator, kill the 2-2 two -two, uh, with Judith Triggers, then they have to sack Humena, um, and so on. All right, so we're bringing in all the coils, cutting a Reaper, an Instigator, a Remodi, um, and what? Else? And that's it. Yeah, that's what I did last time, and it worked out pretty well. So let's try it again. I'm not gonna just spamming oops on the opponent. I'm not like that. Thanks, James. I think we found out that Judith is really strong against small creatures. That's what we've learned so far. I'm keeping this mostly because of Lava Coil. Uh, basically just because of Lava Coil. And our, our opponent going down to six. We have a Lava Coil. We have a lot of good draws here. <laughs> nah, fun's always allowed. That's kind of a little rude, though. I don't know if I consider rude fun. Judith reminds you a bit of Goblin Sharpshooter. I can see that. And saving coil for Kumena. Even if they played like a lord here. Well, I guess if they played a lord. Whoa, stop. I guess if they played a lord, I may. I guess then Coil would not have killed the Kamena. Please don't have another Kumena. So I know we don't get to draw a card with Midnight Reaper here, but I'm just gonna keep my life total high, uh, make trades, especially with us having Gruesome Menagerie. Cat's name is Hawkeye. Yes, I was just saying your name. He's looking at me like, why are you saying my name and not bringing me food? I could see our opponent having incongruity here and like trying to decide what to do with incongruity. What big plans we have for the birthday? Uh, just streaming all day. Yeah, long 12-hour stream tomorrow. That's that's my plans. So 11 to 11. Um, hope everybody hope everybody's there. Um, you know, we'll be playing lots of decks.
And yeah, I'm certainly trading Midnight Reaper with anything. Thanks, Flat. Thanks, Black Snap. Glad to have you here. Yeah, they're going through and careful reading read, read Midnight Reaper. Read Judith. Yeah, I'm gonna have cake. Yep, we're gonna have some cake tomorrow. Is there anything else I need to get besides cake? I'm gonna go to the store tomorrow morning and get some cake. I'm just gonna go to like Kroger. Does Kro does do you think Kroger has party hats? They probably do, right? We could do party hat. Um, let's trade Reaper. Virginia. Uh, I don't want noisemakers. Yeah, cake and party hat. That's all we need. I think these war bosses are kind of killing our opponent. Woo! Just taking it. Not even blocking the 2 1 tokens with the Mistbinder. Yeah, Menagerie is pretty good. I would play What's My Age again? At least once an hour? I don't know about at least once an hour. Well, they could they could block the token. Judith Judith trigger is only non-token creatures. So they could have blocked the token with their three three Merfolk Mistbinder, uh, easily enough there. Uh, no, Miraz, I won't be doing the Twitch rival on the twentieth. I'm going to be doing my taxes. Got an appointment to do my taxes on the twentieth, so I'm not sure how much. If at all, I'll be streaming on the 20th. All right, 2-0 and with Rakdos Aggro. All right, 2-0. and We only need to get one more win to get the most wins on the night. Yeah, not looking forward to doing taxes. Oh yeah, sideboard carnival. That could have been my last card. In. Well, they did see firebrand, so maybe they didn't want firebrand to happen. In paradise. Well, this hand's good. Hope our opponent's playing a creature deck, so C priest of the forgotten gods can uh, do a lot. Yeah, it's not Merfolk for the fourth time in a row? What's that all about? No, I'm not going to be watching the All-Star game tonight because I'll be here streaming. Um, I'm just going to play the, the war boss. We'll just do this. I was kind of planning on playing the Midnight Reaper here, but war boss is pretty nice on the empty battlefield. All right, so Bell Hunt. Um, we're gonna discard Mountain. All right, so yeah, let's go. 
Midnight Reaper. And then uh, sacrifice. Target you. Sacrifice Gutter Bones and Token. Draw some cards. Ah. I just get to spawn a mayhem, but I could have had another Legion War boss, I suppose, if I would have just if I would have gone with red mana. But I like having spawn a mayhem here. <laughs> Used to be a Merfolk stream. <laughs> Hmm. Is the opponent dead? Hmm. They're at 14. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, 14. Yes, they are. No, that, that this one doesn't attack. We're only attacking for 12. Not dead. So, we could have done 13 by activating. Priest, but we couldn't actually do 15, 14. Yeah. So, Mardu stuff. As our, our opponent's playing some Mardu stuff. We could certainly see them having Deafening Clarion or Kaya's Wrath. Hopefully, not Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, like Mardu control-ish. Maybe like a Mardu mid-range. Uh, what do we do against Cry of the Carnarium? Not a whole lot. Uh, we just hope that we have more cards to refill the battlefield with, or we can try to duress it away. I could be playing duresses here. Speaking of duress, that's like the, the card I could bring in in this matchup. Um, but we didn't see a whole lot of the opponent's deck. I think I'm just going to keep it the same. They could have Hero of Precinct 1. Yeah. They could. They certainly could. Duress is like the biggest option, but I don't know if there's anything I necessarily want to and or need to take out uh, without seeing more. So let's just keep it the same. Let's just try again. You know, force our opponent to, to win this game and show us what they got and what we need to be ready for. Gonna be turning twenty one again for the twelfth time. Goblin Instigator is a card that they could kind of come out for duress a little bit, um, especially if if they have sweepers. Yeah, it's not going to be good against sweepers. They just don't know their deck too much. And Demanding Dragon is pretty awesome. Uh, yes, I like Duress more than Drill Bit in the sideboard. Um, the matchups where you have the discard, you usually don't need like the one drops as much, because the one drops aren't as good. Right, I don't have three mana. Um, and I, last time I, last time we played this, I played two duress, two drill bit, and I was paying, um, I was paying three mana for drill bit way too often.
Um, I think for me to want to play drill bit, I think I'd want to play even more creatures, like more one drops. I, I think you'd want to be a lot heavier one drop deck. I, you know, thinking like twelve one drops or so uh, for drill bit. Alright, so yeah, certainly looking like a Mardu control kind of deck. We've gained five life so far. Alright, we've seen lots of wrath. So yeah, let's get duresses in uh, for game three. What if I want Angrath too? I probably do. So we get duresses and Angraths. <laughs> Zydroth says, your taste of music is awesome. I've been watching the stream now for a good month. And so far, not a single song I didn't like and haven't played pretty much 75% of your... Uh, your your own playlist. Keep up the awesome music and streams. Well, thanks, Zydroth. Oh yeah, Zanaroth. Yeah, you're you're just here. No, it's a it's okay, man. We can play a game three. Like you won this game. Okay, but yeah, if you if you want to do that game three, you can. You can also just turn you can just turn off the stream too. You don't need to or just like pause it. You don't have to watch. How do you get good at deck building? Any advice? Um <laughs> the uh, run. The um, chase stokes the forge. Reduke wrote a good um really good piece of just kinda Starting off in magic there, I just linked it there in chat, uh, level level one, full course. Um, you can Google search that if you're watching this later on, on YouTube. Um, and there's just a lot of tips in there uh, about everything about magic. And, and no the fire, sections no are about deck building. Um, so maybe you, can, maybe you can learn a little something about deck building there. Callie, thanks for that resub there for the second month. Thank you so much. That is sub number 15 no of the day. No steel. Which means this is going to be... Which means we're going to have... We're going to be cracking open a pack after this. So it'll be pack time. All right, I'll check that out, Zydroth. Write that down. All right, so gonna trim on priest. Priest is best when we have like the other creatures in play. Same with instigator, and also firebrand. Um, Bedevil for Lyra. Yeah, I could certainly see my opponent playing Lyra. Let's get those and some play crafters in. I'll cut lava coil. Um, it's a lot of threes. Maybe not the play crafters.
this hand's tough. Um, if we don't draw that third land, you know, it's really, it's going to be really difficult, but I really like War Boss. Re you know, I, I love, especially these other four cards quite a bit. Let's, let's go with it. We're going to go with our powerful cards and just hope to draw, hope to draw a little bit of land here. All right, go war boss, go. Need two more lands. Get to this Angrath. Good start. Either Judith or Midnight Reaper. Which one am I discarding? I guess I could discard Spawn of Mayhem. I'll just do that. Alright, so at least we got the Judith in play to get the we got the triggers there. That's pretty that's gonna be good enough for us. No fire, no steel. Alright, we got our own Angrath. So I, I discarded Mayhem, Spawn of Mayhem because I was worried about Spawn of Mayhem just uh, um, just trading one for one where Judith does two but Judith was going to make my clock a lot faster with having making all those things two ones so that's what I was thinking there good game Z Zeno so we got fortunate to draw our lands we kept a two lander there and needed to draw lands and we did GG's. Yeah, best deck of the day. Three wins. All right, we got to uh, 15 subs. So it is pack time. Hey, feature. Pack time. All right, we're going to try to get a mythic and not 20 gems. Let's see what we got. Uh, 20 gems. Yeah, I didn't see Angrath coming. Angrath's just so good. Angrath is really good. Good call. Yeah, let's restart this client. Good call. I, I forgot about that, Templar. Yeah, it's the client's real laggy there. It needs a restart. Okay, what do, I need to make a thumbnail for the four-color discard deck. Hey, Rag for Life, thanks for that resub there. Welcome back for the second month in a row. That's sub number 16 on the day. All right, play.
right, just a second. Okay. Get that going. Okay. Play first. Uh, yeah, we can try this. We do have to worry about, um, you know, worry about getting our third land, of course. But Reveler will help us get there. Unfortunately, like our all of our cards are like the good three drops. We have to discard one of them. We'll kind of see what our opponent's doing, which one to discard. It'll likely be. I guess it'll likely be. Um, Reaper that we're discarding. If we think we can get out to a fast start, I guess. Um, if they look like a removal heavy deck, we'll just get rid of one of the war bosses. All right, this thumbnail looks good. Four color discard. What's going on? Is our opponent like not doing anything? Okay, so I guess they're waiting. Publish. Okay, back to the chat. Rag says, done my first store championship today and finished second and won runner-up playmat and opened about 30 euro in cards today. Man, that, that is a good day. That's awesome. Awesome day there, Rag. Congratulations. I don't know, maybe our opponent just wasn't able to connect to the match also. <laughs> Come on, Merfolk. <laughs> this deck with Lazav is so entertaining to play. The combat tricks with Priest and Double Judith are really fun. That's a good idea there, Epic. Lazav can be another Judith, even though Judith is legendary, because it still keeps the name Lazav. That's a pretty cool idea. Uh, missed your question. Sorry, Chaos. Um, okay, there we go. Have you ever tried building an Etrada deck, or is it terrible? The second. I've, I've never tried building an Etrada deck. I, I don't think that Etrada is good enough for Constructed. I've never wanted to. That's Etrada the Silencer, is the name of that card. Wow. I'm going on all in on that life, just taking out four of it, no problem. Thanks, Xenoroth. Hey, Chandler. Happy birthday, Eve. Thanks, Chandler. Would open the grave 
be good here too. I don't think so. I think it's open the grave is is a little too much mana and everything. I'm really surprised our opponent's attacking with this Benelish Marshal. Pretty surprised about that. I don't think it's going to really matter. Um, so I, the thing is, is because this is during combat, I don't get to use the mana, uh, during combat with the priest. Uh, no, no plans for any more IRL tournaments for now, Rizzy. I'm just streaming every day here for my income. Hey, what's up, Boot? This this may be a little tough one for us to win. Um, demanding dragon could do some work for us. War boss and midnight reaper both didn't look so good that game. We just kind of need to get going with the Judith and with Priest. Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to play Demanding Dragon. Yeah, we got Spawn of Mayhem. So I'm going to trim two Revelers and, or sorry, two Reapers and one Reveler for the three coils this time. Yeah, let's do this. Dire Fleet First Strike is good. Hmm. I guess it could be better with Judith. Get a three power. So we can take out the History of Benalia tokens. Don't have red mana, so we can't play Firebrand right away. We may not be able to double spell with Firebrands. Okay, that's... Gutter Bones is a good draw. We can definitely Gutter Bones. And Firebrand next turn. Hmm. Doesn't make a lot of sense to sack two creatures just to kill a Dauntless Bodyguard, though. I think I want it. <clears throat> yeah, we would get the gutter bones right back. Um, and I guess, and we draw another card. But swamp, swamp, swamp. Why can't we just have like one red source? This is like a pretty decent hand. Firebrand, Reveler, Judith. Why does that have to be Swamp Swamp Swamp? Um, do I want Reveler? I 
Yeah, I'll keep it. Hey, Yager gifting a sub to Rogue. 0804. Zenner, Zeno, you told me that you weren't playing Lyra and you have Lyras in your deck. Ah, uh, that's the wifey? Well, thanks for gifting the sub there, Santa Yager. So sub number 83 on the day. Or so sorry, sorry, subs. That's a, that'd be a lot of subs in a day. Sub number... Um, 17 on the day, and 83 now to go. Um, Any advice to make the rough day better? Um, you kind of just need to just keep, you know, just keep your head up. We all have rough days, you know, like th today's been not not necessarily the best over here either. Um, but you just gotta just gotta keep your head up to try to, you know, really learn what's going on. Really try to focus on what you're struggling with and why and don't be too proud to uh make some changes to your deck um to try to fix that you know don't be too proud to uh cut cards that you really like and and so on um and sometimes it's just better to just kind of move on to the next day and just kind of set it down for the, for a day and and come back tomorrow also so i want to we're in a tough spot here. I want to reveler for spectacle, I think, next turn. But that means I have to cast the lava coil this turn. So I, I didn't really want to lava coil just that. I wanted to save. So that's the other thing is I want to save lava coil for like a Benelish Marshal. But then we could draw like some other spell next turn. Obviously, the opponent's just going to have Banalish Marshal now. Obviously. That well, was just a... Just a terrible, terrible Lava Coil. Of course, they have the Dauntless Bodyguard anyway to save the Marshal, so it didn't end up being as bad. This looks, looks horrible for us, though. I wish I would have just played the Remodi Reveler the turn before. Alright, here's the fun list with with Lazav. Um anyway, a little bit about the Marty control earlier. I feel like the person with the Marty Control deck here maybe focused a little bit too much on life gain in that instead of you do not have uh, to better fight cards, alone. But, uh, 
feel like that Marty Control list could use like some some kind of like treasure map. Be strong. Um, some more card advantage, treasure map, theater of horrors, that kind of stuff. Uh, you may have too much removal. Or, like, revitalize this. Like, treasure map's gonna be a better card than revitalize. Same kind of slot. Um, I played the Jun Death Whirler deck once, uh, one time, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, that's it. We didn't do very well, but, you know, it's a real small sample of only playing it once, so. You know. Now, the deck's working. Exclamation point deck works. Um, they're just somebody above you, hey doc in the chat, um, typed it in. So you just have to, typed it in a little bit ago, so you just have to wait, um, MTG bot doesn't doesn't let doesn't just go over and over and over again. So there you go. All right, so we picked up our first loss to uh, mono white aggro there. It's okay, just letting you know for like the next time and stuff. It happens. It's probably working. You just have to maybe you know wait a minute because somebody above you probably did the deckless command. So all good. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty cool with that Grixis Reanimator one. I'll ultimately try that out. Alright, looks like we're playing against elves. Perhaps. We didn't. We haven't played against any Soul Tide today. Hmm. Am I playing Remadi and Gutterbones first, or am I playing Judith first? I certainly want Judith on the battlefield before I start activating Priest because of the triggers. We're going to be taking a bunch of damage, though. I guess we're going to go this way. Oh, whoa, whoa, No, 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 no. Because maybe this doesn't incentivize my opponent to attack with the 2 2 Pelt Collector. Can't really beat that card. Not where we're at.
pretty good first four turns for the opponent. Yeah, I mean, our our deck's not good from behind, um, and yeah, the decks that can go under us are are going to beat us. These, these are like the, these are the bad matchups for our deck. Um, the aggro decks that go bigger. This is that's what our deck struggles with. Um, but we're pretty good the rest of the places. All right, demanding dragons coming on in. And now Coil. Um, do I want Bedevil and Plague Crafter? Yeah, these are the tougher matchups for our deck. The aggros like this. And our opponent just had an awesome curve on the play. Yeah, like we're not we're not gonna beat that. Yeah, that was their first four turns there whenever they had the dragon was on their turn four on the play. It's just really, really strong. Their deck doesn't always do that. It's really not going to remove Priest. If we're going to win, it's going to be because of Priest. So it's certainly not going to remove it. If we remove Priest, how do we win? We just don't. Yes, it's too slow to, to defeat those... Again, if our opponent has that kind of hand again, yes, Priest is too slow, and we will lose. Um, but we're we're not winning without Priest. It's our best card. Definitely not taking out Firebrand against the Land War Elf deck. That's definitely not happening. Bring the play crafters over the other revelers and um, got a couple Legion War bosses. But yeah, priests are priests is too slow against their best draws, but we just aren't going to beat their best draws. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to take out Priest because of that. Yeah. Looks like our opponent does have a really good Good draw though. Turn one elf, turn two pelt collector goblin. We'll see what they continue on with. Into a rekindling phoenix. I'm I am glad our opponent attacked. I like trading the gutter bones for the pelt collector and um for the Pell Collector and the Land War Elf. I 
I, I'm not able to kill the, the egg creature with Spawn of Mayhem. Rekindling Phoenix is so good. There's a reason why I trimmed these Midnight Reapers and Legion War Bosses. They're not very good in this matchup. No, Hawkeye. Could really use Priest. Yuck. I don't know why I don't just do the damage to them. Yeah, just another awesome hand. We're just not going to beat awesome hands. Unless we have an awesome one and we didn't either time. All right, so three and two. Started off a lot better with a 3-0, but we just got out aggroed the last two. I, I would love to have better cards um, in the sideboard for aggro matchups, but there's just not really, there's not really anti-aggro cards in black and red. And so we're just, we just really struggle with those matchups. Um, El Elvish Pied, oh, did we just play against you? If so, your your hands were awesome. They were just really, really good. I mean, I have yeah, I have four. I have four lava coil. I have one lava coil here. Three more on the board. Yeah, we we have all the lava coils we can. So like, I mean, were, would Moment of Craven been any good that last game, or against the white deck? It wouldn't really. Yeah, like those. Yeah, those cards just maybe. You know, like we just died to really big creatures. Um, yeah. Yeah, ritual of set. That could be an option. I like I like Ritual of Soot, where we can kind of be behind and play Ritual of Soot and then deploy things. Like, if, if we're behind, maybe that's the way to go, is Ritual of Soot. Um, I could have Phoenix, in, like, I have Demanding Dragon in that Phoenix slot. You know, we, we didn't draw Demanding Dragon, but maybe maybe Phoenix would be better. Um, I like, I think I like Demanding Dragon again specifically Mono Red. Um... But Phoenix would have been better in the two games that we played. These these previous two games. But yeah, maybe that's just an option. Maybe I just go full rekindling Phoenix in the sideboard instead of Daredevil and Dragons. Just go like maybe upwards of, of four Phoenixes. Um Maybe Phoenix in the main deck instead of Spawn of Mayhem. I don't know. Orzhov Enforcer. That could be a better card than Remodi Reveler. I haven't, I haven't been too impressed with this card. Could play Orzhov Enforcer instead. You like it over the Instigator. No, Spawn never really helped too much. I 
I could certainly see playing uh, Orzhov Enforcer. I think I'd rather have it over Reveler, honestly. But yeah, I, I like that. I like that card. Maybe go four of those and then take out Reveler and take out one Instigator. I like that. That's better with Priest than what Reveler is. Firebrand's much, much better than Footlight Fiends. Firebrand is a lot better of a card. Like, what's a good card against Mono White? Maybe just play a horse. Horse is actually pretty interesting. Horse is kind of good with, with Firebrand. play a couple horses. Um, I just use OBS here, uh, Yager. I just, like my same streaming pro program, I just record the videos in OBS also. Um, and then I just, after recording, I just upload them on YouTube. Just, just upload them to YouTube. Okay, all right. So that's um, Rakdos Agro. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, and that'll be it for Rakdos Agro. So thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.